October is National Bullying Prevention Month, a really important discussion to bring to the surface. So joining us with more information on this topic and Unity Day is Miss America's Outstanding Teen and Oklahoma City native, Nicole Gia. Thank you so much for being with us here. Thank you for having me. First of all, your crown is here. Yes. And a congrats are in order because you were Thank just you so crowned much. in August. Yes, I was. Big congrats to Thank you. Thank you. And you're an Oklahoma City native. I am, yes. Yeah. And you I, go to Cassidy. I do. Okay. I go to Cassidy. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us here. I want to get to Unity Day in just a second, but first I understand the topic of bullying hits really close to home mm -hmm. for you. You experienced this growing up. Tell us about what you dealt with. Freshman year, I moved to a new school, and, you know, high school can be tough enough as it is, but as a new person, it's almost ten times harder to integrate yourself into the community. Mm -hmm. So, although it wasn't physical or verbal bullying, it was almost a type of isolation that was a silent form of bullying, and oftentimes that can hurt the most. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it's understandable that many people will want to keep to the group they know. They want to stick with their friends, but it's important to remember the people who are new, because if you only stick to your friends, then the people who are new will oftentimes get lost in the mix. And so that was one of the experiences that I had. And you're a senior, so that wasn't yes, too long ago it wasn't, for no. you. And tell me, uh, you know, j just kind of help others out there. Absolutely. How did you overcome that pain and, and that hurt? It was tough, um, okay. but the thing to do is make sure that you meet other people halfway. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, it's nice when people introduce themselves, but sometimes when they don't do that, you need to make sure you're doing your, the most you can to integrate yourself into your community. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes gave me some of the greatest friends I have today. Yeah, well good, good to hear that you are where you are now. But let's get to Unity Day. Yes. Tell me what this is, because this is today, mm -hmm. uh, and how you're honoring it and what it is for people. Today, Unity Day is a day where people across the country are wearing orange to support the 13 million students who have been bullied. And this is such an amazing campaign because everybody's coming as a united front to say bullying is not okay. We're standing up to make sure that uh, those voices are being heard. Mm -hmm. And it's such an amazing thing that it's national. So everyone across the country, myself included, along with a, lo a lot of the teens who went to Miss America's Outstanding Teen, will be wearing orange. We'll be posting them on Line. We'll be using the hashtag Unity Day to support those people. And I was telling you before we went live, I was looking at your Instagram page yes. earlier. You really <laughs> are standing behind this social media campaign. Absolutely. Tell us about the hashtag and for people at home who might want to start posting pictures in support of this cause as well. Absolutely. How do you get involved? It's very, very simple. All you have to do is take a picture, post it, and use the hashtag. And this year... And what's the hashtag? The hashtag that? today is Unity Day. Okay. But recently, I started my own campaign called Hashtag Be Selfless. Mm -hmm. And this kind of came from my experience at, at high school. Um, you know, social media didn't make it easier on me. On weekends, you know, you'd see your friends or people you knew who were hanging out with everyone to things you weren't invited to. And then I read an article that said girls, on average, spend five hours a week trying to create the perfect selfie, and that blew yep. my mind. So I thought, you know, there's so many wonderful things going on in our community. People are doing so many good things for other people. Why don't we post things about that? So I created a hashtag, which is kind of a twist on the selfie, called hashtag be selfless. And that's super simple. You just do something good for someone else. You see something good happening, and you post it. But it's Share authentic. It. Okay. Yes. And um, yeah, as great as social media is, we know it can be certainly a catalyst for negativity, but glad that you're using it this way. My last question to you before we go, Somebody at home is dealing with bullying, maybe Absolutely. even a parent who has a child dealing Absolutely. with it. What are your top tips for those people, those families? First thing people need to realize is bullying is not okay. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's the norm, and a lot of times people just accept it, but it shouldn't be that way. Bullying can be stopped. The number one thing to do, we've all heard it before, but tell somebody. If you're going through this terrible process, make sure other people know so that they can stop it. And for other people, make sure that you are including them. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure that you're actively seeking them out, telling them, I'm here for you, I'm here to support you, and that ultimately that will make the person feel absolutely much better. Okay, Miss America's Outstanding Teen, Nicole Gia, thank you so mm -hmm. much. You are beautiful, you are thank eloquent, you. and definitely standing behind a cause <laughs> that really needs to be conquered right now. Absolutely. So we thank you for your time, and, thank you and so we'll much. stay in touch.